Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are covering the reduce operator. So firstly, we understood what reduce operator is. We took a requirement in that we discussed if I want to calculate the count, how we can calculate the count through loop, then we replace loop with the this particular reduce operator and we calculate the count. Then after that, we took another requirement in the last video, how to calculate the sum. If we don't know the reduce operator, we can calculate the sum. Yes, if we can go for intermediate variables, we can go for collect, we can go for control break statement, but ultimately loop is compulsory. Now in this video, we will understand how I can replace this loop logic with the reduce operator. So I will simply comment this. So this loop not required now. Now we will go for applying the loop. Now suppose what is our first result variable? LB underscore NEDWR1 is equal to. You all know what is the keyword for the reduce? Reduce. Now I will go for hash. We again put so much stress every time. Whenever you are going for hash, this must be your explicit data declaration. Do we have explicit data declaration? Yes. So system will understand this. That what will be the type of the result. Now we will go for first keyword. You all know what is your first keyword in the reduce? Init. Initialize. Suppose we are saying sum is equal to zero. So we initialized sum is equal to zero. You all know after that, what is the keyword? Four. Now what we want to do from this internal table, data will go to work area and we are calculating the amount or we are making some of the amount which is coming into work area. So how I will write for work area in what is the name of internal table LT underscore data and we want to make some based upon document category. So how I will give the where condition where VB type is equal to A. Now what will be our operation? In the previous video, you are going for increasing the count. Now we need to make some of this NETWR. You all know you can specify the operation through the next keyword. So how I will give next. Now what is your variable? Sum is equal to sum plus. What is your work area? Suppose I will make it as LWA underscore data. LWA data hyphen NETWR. If the requirement is clear, it is very, very easy to understand. Just think how it will work. One by one, record from the internal table will go to work area. Yes, it will simply pass those records to work area where document category is A. And whatever the amount is coming into that work area, we are simply making or we are adding that sum. We did the same to same thing here. We are adding the sum. We are adding the sum. Same thing we did here. Just see how it will work. Suppose for the first record, sum is zero. Suppose this particular sum variable, zero. So zero plus. Suppose for the first record, amount is 100. So zero plus 100, 100. Now, the sum is 100. Now, suppose now for the next record, suppose sum is 200. 100 plus 200, 300. Suppose for the third record, sum is 300. So 300 plus 300, 600. We are not going for increasing the count now. Now we are making 
the sum. Now I will go for this right statement. Similarly, we will put for this particular and ETWR2. Here I will go for NETWR2. Now, what is your document category? It is B. Now, I will write this right statement. Now, we will go for NETWR is equal to 3. This is your NETWR is equal to 3. Now, here we will go for document category C. Now, you all know and previously I put so much stress. Whenever I will check the syntax, system will give me the error. I will check the syntax. Then system will say this work area is already declared. You can see it is already declared. Because whenever you are using this work area, into this reduce expression or reduce operator or reduce keyword. SAP considered this as a local, local to this particular operator. So we can never, never go for explicit data declaration. We cannot declare again. So I will simply comment this. And it's an important point from the interview perspective also. Now I will check the syntax. And you can see there is no error. Now I will activate this particular program and we will see are we getting same to same result or not. I will run this. I will go for date. I will go for execute. A, B, C. We'll see. Check the table as I have not remembered. Okay. C is already displayed already. C is correct. Perfectly fine. Now I will go for B. Now you can see it is 6746932. It's perfectly fine. Now we will go for document category A. I will execute. And it is 4782500. Yes, perfectly fine. So same to same result we achieved through the reduce. Now you can see how easy it is. When we started the topic, I told you SAP ABAP new syntax, they are more effective because you can get same to same result by writing less number of lines of code. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, yes, we are calculating the sum or we can say it is a subtotal sum sort of. Because we are going for subtotal based upon document category. So for that, we are using the reduce operator. Firstly, I simply declare the, I simply use the output variable. Reduce is a keyword or we can say operator hash. You all know whenever you are going for hash, they must be explicitly declared. We put in it some variable is equal to zero. 4 is for your iterations for work area into this internal table and VP type is equal to 8. Then what is your operation? Sum is equal to sum plus the work area amount and we will simply simply calculate one by one record will go to work area and it will simply add that particular thing and we displayed that total. So this is all about the reduce operator. We took two examples. Firstly, we calculated the count. Then we calculated the sum using the reduce operator. So this is all about the reduce operator. Thank you.